We're here at ASCO 2015 talking about precision genomics. I'm here with Praveen Mishra, the director of the Precision Genomics Core Lab. Now, Praveen, tell me a little bit about how precision genomics is a leading player in precision medicine. There are multiple reasons why precision genomics, intermodal precision genomics, is a leading player. But I would highlight three main reasons. First would be we, have, we were able to develop this translational pipeline from which we can identify accurate drug targeting uh, specific variants in a given patient. Second would be, we, we, we have a mo molecular tumor board, which is dual layer of molecular tumor board, using, utilizing which we, can, we make sure the data that we are providing is accurate and, and getting to patient at the timely fashion. And third one, uh, which I just mentioned, time, is time is essence. So it, it, the, the moment a patient you know, diagnosed with the cancer, uh, they are already at a highly time sensitive right. phase of their lives. So last thing anybody should do is delay their report. Right. And, uh, and we take that very seriously. And our turnaround time is 10 to 16 days average. So, and that, you know, so we make sure that within 10 to 16 days, we provide not only data, but we, we, we exploit that data and make sure it's accurate and it's, it's giving what patient need at that time. So those, I think those are the main, main highlight point that I would say why Intermodern is a key player or key leading player in precision genomics. What is that time compared to other sources? I think right. five to six week is the okay. standard time in the field and ours is uh, one week to two weeks and we average around one week most of the time. So that time is essential for patients that are in stage four oh, cancer? Oh, for, for sure. Stage four cancer, you know that they already disease is progress to their vital organs and, you know, and they are already struggling internally. Right. And they, you know, so that's why we don't want to delay that. We have multiple layer of, uh, you know, highlighting that if the patient sample is 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 enough to to process through our chemistry right. uh, whereas other laboratories they take probably 5 to 6 weeks just to give that answer which is quantity not sufficient right where after you know once that patient hears that or doctor hears that they have to reprocess biopsy and send the sample back which delays uh, uh, you know patients uh, patients lifestyle and everything actually all together. So, uh, you know, we, that's why I said that we take that very seriously. We will call QNS right when we receive the samples in, within 24 hours. And we will say that your sample is good or not good for our chemistry.